Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig, it's six o'clock. It's time for another Magic Live. Today, I'm gonna to be performing a routine by Woody Aragon and it's called the Cheerleader. So it's called the Cheerleader. It's like a psychic spelling trick, which sounds weird, uh, but the actual setup to this, the actual procedure that you use to get to this position, it's a really fooling routine. If you haven't seen this before, first time I saw it performed, it fooled the hell out of me. You can learn it from a book of English, but it's a way of doing a spelling routine in a very clean way and you don't even get them to spell to the card. You get them to think of the card and you spell it for them and you kind of take the thoughts out of their head. Um, I'm going to perform it for you uh, and I'm going to do that right now. Okay, Sarah, we're going to try and do something here. We're going to do some psychic cheerleading. When you were younger, were you ever a cheerleader? No. No. Did you ever want to be a cheerleader? No. Well, we're going to do some psychic cheerleading. Deck of cards, they're all there, they're all different. Is that fair? Yeah. Good stuff. Uh, would you like to shuffle or do you want me to give them a quick shuffle? No, you can shuffle, I can see. Cool. Uh, I'm going to get the deck and divide it into roughly about, uh, well, I want to try and make them as even as possible, but it doesn't have to be exact, but we're going to go as close as possible to four piles. Is that cool? Yeah. Cool. Uh, so we've got four piles from a shuffle deck of cards. That's pile one, two, three, four. What I want you to do is name a pile one, two, three, four. Three. Three. And I'll push it forward. And another pile? One. One, we'll push that one forward. So that leaves us with two piles. I'm going to hold them here. I'm going to drop one and hold on to one. Which one do you want me to drop? Mm -hmm. uh, my right hand or my left hand? Maybe. The right hand. You want me to drop the right hand? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Okay. So that leaves us with this pile. Do me a favor. Take the cards. Give them a shuffle. Mix them up. And when you've mixed them up, take the cards and spread them so you can see all the cards and I can't. And what I want you to do is take one of those cards and think of one. Okay. Have you got one? Yeah. Remember the card, obviously. Now take that card. You can put it back on any one of these three piles. It's up to you which one. Uh, just put the card back on any one of these three piles. Very good. And then shuffle the cards that you've got left in your hand and then drop them on top. Of the one I put down. Yeah, absolutely. So we're burying it. And what we'll do is we'll just, we'll do that. Now that's fair, right? You can see, would you like me to cut or do you want to cut? Are you, you, you're... Yes, Okay, you could, at this point, you can have the spectator cut as many times as they want to. You don't have to touch the deck at that point. Sarah's behind the camera, so I'm going to cut for her. But it's important that you understand at that point that the spectator doesn't even, you don't even have to do anything. Anyway, you're thinking of a card. You buried it into the deck. There's no way I can know what it is, right? Yeah. You're going to spell to that card in your imagination. You're not going to say it out loud. We're going to try and do some psychic cheerleading here. Now we're going to start off with the value. You know the value of, a, of cards? Yes. We're going, to, we're going to spell the value. I want you to spell the value in your head and I'm going to try and spell it along with you. So whatever the value is, like if it was an ace, you'd go A, C, E. You get the idea? Yes. Spell the value, spell the value, spell the value. Stop. There's four letters in that value, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. Think about this. You could have picked any card. You could have picked any card. You didn't write it down. You didn't tell anyone. You literally looked through and had any card you wanted to. And just by listening to your thoughts, I was able to work out how the, how the value was actually spelt. Now we need to put of, obviously. Now let's, now let's go for the suit. I want you to spell the suit in your head as well. Can you do that for me? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. That's it, isn't it? It's five letters. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, if you're counting the S at the end, that's six letters, but we're not counting the S. Right. Yeah. Um, for the first time, what was the name of your card? Five of Hearts. Are you sure? Yes. That's crazy. Do you know why that's crazy? No. Because I have here the Five of Hearts. So guys, that is The Cheerleader. Like I said, you can learn it from Woody's book. It's his first book, The Book of English. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think. I'd love to know your thoughts. Have you performed it? What do you think of it? Do you like spelling tricks? Let's uh, get a dialogue going down below. And also, don't forget, if you want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. I'm going to be back again tomorrow at 6 o'clock with another Magic Live. I'll see you then.